Welcome, comrades. It's as I swell, Jim here. Today we're gonna be continuing where we left off on Tales of Bazaar. Hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> yes, I'm home alone, so that's why I am nearly to the top of my lungs. So, hey, I managed to get some new items for the fashion. Nose castly headphones. Who doesn't love them? Elf ears. Oh my god, they look so cute. I'm not sad. I want them. <laughs> It looks so cute! Glasses? Nah. Eye patch. Mimi! But I was able to actually put the elf ears on him, because he actually. It actually looks fitting on him. So. Meh, nah, whatever. Oh, that's right. Expedition. Oh, a win! Tuna, dry fish, this urn. This recipe looks real tasty. I... Sure. Chips. It'll take a total of 30 minutes for it to go, so that'll give us enough time. All right, hello. <sighs> the wind's kicking and the tide's flowing, and we're stuck here. Oh, really? Why not just set sail? Not going to happen. The Abbey hasn't given us permission yet. And we would need their permission. Why? The kingdom keeps a strict watch on heart. Aha! Uh -huh. Midgand is spread across a number of islands. The sea is the only way to get from one place to another. If they can control the ships, they can control the flow of people, goods, and even information. Exactly. They uh. even created that fortress, Vortigern, to help them do just that. It's restrictive, but it's also necessary. Demons are out at sea too, and exorcists are the only ones who- Even still, it rubs me the wrong way. A sea dog obeys nothing but the winds and the waves. Well, that's the happy for you. All right, let's get to where we left off. We were able to actually get some arcade items to that thing, so yay! Okay, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Hello. Crabs are amazing. Right? Oh yeah, they're delicious. That's all true, but what really makes them amazing? They can detach their own legs when a predator attacks, which lets them. It's called autotomy. And then, not long after they detach their leg. A new one grows from the stump. Really? So that's exactly what I'm saying, bro. We can <sighs> harvest as much as we like. No one's thought of this before. Huh. I never knew that. <laughs> I thought only lizards could regrow a lost body part. And only lizards. If it does, we can make a killing by selling dial. Would they be No idea. Ugh. No way. Well, they can't blame a guy for trying. Have you heard? <laughs> Marcus and his pirates were taken out by the royal Navy. So, he even got Marcus's crew now. Of the four pirate kings who terrorize Midgand, only Eifried and his crew remain. Aren't Whoa. the seas still swarming with- Only small fry that robs small civilian ships on the- But the only pirates left that can pick a fight with the Royal Navy and win are Eifried. In other words, the only ship left that's truly free is the Von Eltia. For a merchant, you really see- He may be crooked, but money's not oh. always after. If profit was his only desire, he could have made more by selling us out. <laughs> but that'd be too boring, don't you think? The fun's in making a killing by brick. <laughs> and that's why Ifri goes through him All right. we need to dock you. Hmm. Well, I can't say I've ever met a human like... Well, there's always a first time for everything. Alright, let's go. I love to play Luffy said. He's actually kind of cute. Who doesn't love those cute little eyes? That adorable hair. And that dress. Who doesn't love it? I should take a look for some more items just to be on the safe side. Hello. Let's see. Can you see a dagger? Can you see a can you Ooh, when attack power versus armor? Hmm. Let me take a look at some of my equipment. Plain paper that I need to master. Amber blade. Oh, I already mastered that, so I'll just equip this then. Wow, that's a nice blade. Uh... <laughs> just checking to see if I actually mastered any of these things. So he. So those who mastered the amber boots. Oh. Okay, just making sure. Alright, let's see. Did I master anything else? 
Nope. Okay. This skin is really fitting. I love it. Oh my god, his eyes moves. That's creepy. But I'm kind of glad I gave this character glasses, because look at him! He looks so serious! <laughs> Beautiful. But I'd like to get the kid the rosy cheeks. Maybe I'll remove them when the time comes. Uh -oh. Sir, scouts have reported seeing a powerful de its danger level has been classified as understood. A code I'll red. the Abbey, we have a code red demon and send out an emergency alert to the right. With wild demons right. this close to the capital, the Abbey must have had its hands full. Eisen, what did he mean by a code red demon? It's like a most wanted list for demons. From the latest I've heard, there's around ten such demons across the territories. Uh huh. Oh, I think we encountered one. Tough. That would be putting it lightly. Suffice it to say, you wouldn't want to face one unprepared. Then we'd best be prepared. Let's get going. Well, demons is designed to cover for having can be found roaming the territories. Correct demons are exceptionally strong. It's recommended. You only engage them when you're sufficiently repaired. All right, that'll be nice to know. Well, Muck. You said you heard about Alfred on the prison island, right? Yeah. I heard an exorcist legate named Melchior took him away. I don't know anything beyond that. Neither do I. What about you, Mogilu? Word is well. he was taken away about a year ago. Caused quite a stir, if I remember right. Everything about him was kept a tight secret. Oh. No one even knew what cell he was in. Eifried is an ordinary human, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the abilities of an exorcist. And he isn't a demon either. What if he became one? I mean, if they were just trying to bust up his gang, why capture him but leave the crew free? If not his gang, what business does the Abbey have with him then? We've cast our nets right. wide and can't come up with any explanation. We'll free him though. His place is on the sea with us. And you're convinced so. he's still alive? They wouldn't have any problems killing a pirate who caused them trouble. If the Abbey took him alive right. and for questioning, it means he has something they really want. But he isn't the type to change his ways or bend his knee on anyone's orders. Uh huh. He holds his own tiller. Precisely. Love is that it's slowly opening up. That's actually really good. Actually, let me dismantle some things. Art defense, art defense. Sorry about that. Just making sure that everything's good. Okay, full talisman. Just get rid of that. Mercury satchel. Wait, do they have anything for satchels? Accessories. Amber talisman. Oh. I like these. Okay, let's take a look if I actually have these. Let's see, plain paper, calcium. Uh huh. Then I gotta equip the amber paper. Then I gotta equip the calcium amber to make sure I actually increase this. So that way, I'm gonna make sure everything's all right. Okay, then I gotta equip this to make sure that even I will be safe from multi attacks and coming my way. Then after I. Calcite garment. I'll take the calcite garment so that for I can actually equip that and actually give it to Velvet so that way she'll actually able to actually resist some killing damage so that for it'll actually help her out in one of ways. Hmm. Sorry if I'm only like, why come with us? What's that? Why did you come back to us? I could tell you all missed me something awful. We didn't. At all. And what about your search for this traitor? He slipped away yet again. I've no clue where he ran off to. You're a witch. Can't you use a spell or something? My Fair spellcraft enough. works kind of like a three-legged race. It simply requires my backstabbing slippery accomplice. Oh. Like a con artist needs an accomplice. I am not a con artist. <laughs> I'm not going to help you find your traitor, you know. How cold. Such an icy stare could freeze fire. And you Jeez. don't have anyone else? Hmm. Well, no. Do you have a home to return to? Nope. What? Do you know a trade other than magic? Nope. Uh, wow. What is it, Lafayette? 
Um... Magilu's story made my chest feel funny. And my nose is runny. The witch has no, no friends, no home, and no purpose. I think what you're feeling is pity. Pity? Aww. It's when you feel sorrow for someone else. Aww. I pity Magilu. Oh, come on! <laughs> Poor Magilu! <laughs> Poor girl. Oh well. Encounter and battles. If you indicate a battle, make contact with an enemy on the field from behind, you will begin an advantage encounter. Alright. Extra salt. Enemy will start with less HP. However, if the enemy. <sighs> Alright. Encounter and battles. Contact with two or more enemies at the same time on the field. Okay. okay. Very well. Onward to Logris. Wait. You're coming too? <sighs> Well, she may find her traitor there, you just never know. So it'll work both ways. We'll not only she'll not only find the traitor, but she, we'll be able to actually find more information about where we are. Alright. Oh come on! Water hammer, amber blade, amber blade, beast fang. Ooh. A mind map from an essentially hard claw, especially to fight beasts. Ooh. I like that. I think I should have read that before I closed it too early. Will you get out of my way? Stop hiding me. Alright. Good gravy, these skills are good. Alright. Alright, I'll focus on healing. Fire! Nice. Amber Bell, capacity. Alright! It's always best to actually upgrade their abilities so they can master it. Now for the Calcite Belt. Oh, risky encounter. I'll focus on healing. All right. All right. The grave. Did you think you could escape me? Hey, he mastered a bunch of those. Nice. Amber waistcoat. All right, let's just do a normal waistcoat and the resistance ring. Nice. All right. Non-elemental damage. We're probably gonna need that one. I like this game. I like it. There it is. That's where we need to go. Wow. Those walls. They're so huge. <laughs> That's Logris, the capital of the Empire. They keep demons out by enclosing the city within a great wall. 
Humanity has achieved great things on the backs of slave Malakim. Why the surprise, oh. Lafayette? You've been here before, right? I have. But back then, I was not who I am now. I see. Oh. Tethered Malakim aren't even allowed the freedom to observe their surroundings. We'll soon lose such freedom ourselves. Huh? We've reached the heart of the Empire and of the Abbey. Soldiers and exorcists are stationed all, all around. Alright, yeah, this that's true. This is no place for a collection of villains like us. I'm not looking for a place. All I need to find is Artorias. That's it. I can understand that, Velvet. Oh, there's a chest on there. Oh, for Mark's sake. Alright. Alright, there we go. Daggers, Amber Blade. Some of those things aren't useful for selling, but I prefer using them for just black, for just blacksmith stuff. Earth Ring. That'll come in handy. They won't inspect everyone. Just act natural. Your face is all stiff. I know. Just calm down, girl. You, in the black coat. Show me your documentation. Uh oh. Uh, um... Well? Your travel permit from the Abbey? Where is it? My uh, Foolish girl, how many times have I told you? A magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin. Oh. Magician? Verily, I present to you the traveling troupe of mischievous misfits known across the land as... Magilu's Menagerie! Ah! Entertainment for the ceremony? Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please, pardon my uncouth apprentice. Wow, this girl's yeah. smart. Allay the good man's fears and show him the dub trick you've spent all these weeks on. Go to! Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. 
sorry, mistress. I forgot to prepare. Oh. You, you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer is perpetually prepared! Fair enough. <laughs> it's fine. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. No, this will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one. What? Act like a dove. She'll do it. Cool, cool. <laughs> Oh, that's actually impressive. <laughs> Remember, Muggy Lou's menagerie manufactures mirth. That was just a small sample for the good citizenry of Logris. Hey, you can't advertise here. Move along. <laughs> As you say. Wow, that was actually kind of smart. <laughs> That was a fine ploy, Mogulu. Well, don't expect tricks like that every day. Coo-coo. <laughs> oh, that murderous gaze! Coo-coo! Those doves were amazing! Hmm. Just a crude trick. If anything, it just shows the Capitol's defenses are pathetic. More Fair like enough. it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lapisette? The number of exorcists in the Capitol? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. Uh -huh. I'd expect no less from the capital. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens yeah. smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their power has brought. Yeah. Peace. Paid for with Luffy's. Hmm. Velvet? I can't understand Velvet's pain. She literally had to witness her own brother's death literally right there at the literally right there at the where it happened. Poor Velvet. Even she doesn't des even she didn't deserve to see something like that. Right now, Prince Percival is the one ruling Midgand. He's the crown prince. What happened? The king is in good health, but he's decided to withdraw from public life. He declared that a new way of thinking was needed. <laughs> oh. This king sounds like quite the guy. Prince Percival is incredible. He's following in the footsteps of the king by working hand in hand. As long as we have Lord Artorius and Prince Percival, the future of Midgand is... Got it. So all of Midgand is on Artorius' side. Impressive. The Abbey's job is getting uh. harder and harder. We've all got to give them our full support. Uh, let's backtrack a bit. Just what sort of organ- You're kidding uh. me. How do you- The Abbey is part of Midgan's Church of the Empyreans. Empyreans, okay. Originally, it was an order of paladins and warrior priests to vote. Yeah. The Abbey's official name is the Exorcist Abbey of the Church of Midgan. I'm impressed. So basically, they're just one branch of the church, right? Yeah. Well, for a side branch, they don't really... Of course not. The high priest entrusted all his power to the... So the Abbey's leader is at the top of the entire church. That's not all. The prince mm -hmm. also gave Lord Artorius authority over all military... Lord Artorius oh, commands Midgan now, and has formed a new theocracy to... Come. And that is the origin of the Holy Midgan Empire. Well, okay, got it. The Abbey's a big deal. Hmm. With the power like that, that could cause a lot of chaos in the long run. I don't like it. I honestly do not like it. Go. <laughs> Mommy, when's the prince gonna talk? The exorcist. I'm sure they will, dear. People are saying it's going to be a very important announcement about. I want to see the exorcist. We need to thank them for. You're right. We all have to show them our gratitude and. Yeah. 
all follow the rules too. They sure are popular. Because these people don't know the truth. You think that's so? That the exorcists are fighting the demons yeah. they themselves cannot. That's why the people support the exorcists. <laughs> well, she got a point there. Cheers. The royals sure have these folks in line. Yep. Subjects, may I have your attention? It is I, Percival Asgard, Crown Prince of the Midgand Empire. What? His Majesty, my father, and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious day. The ceremony started. It would be impossible to slip in now. What does it define another opening? Ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat, both from demons and the terrible spread of demon light. However, one man raised a miraculous sword and stood so that the body and soul of the land Over there. would not be lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now would and be suicide. And the name of that man was Artorius <laughs> Colbrand! Whoa. Good grief, she just said she just said set on actually killing him. None here, I trust, are unfamiliar with Artorius's noble act. To bring us salvation from demons, he sacrificed everything. But he's a murderer. He called Lord Inominat, one of the five Imperians, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachi. But he's a murderer! He serves as a shining beacon of reason in this world of turmoil. Oh no. And reason is what binds us. But you killed him. You took everything that I loved. Aww. So raise your voices in praise to Artorius's devoted work. To the Savior who purifies evil and guides our flock. Let us call him. Our shepherd. Oh, good grief. This is pathetic. That's the prince, I'm guessing. filled with suffering I had to ask something tremendous of you all I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will for the only blade that can expel calamity is one forged from unshaking reason and the iron will to do what must be done Yeah. And now that very blade stands ready before all of us today. I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Imperian in Nominat, I will guide you to a world without calamity. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory. But after that misery, another one will be created. You're, you're just making more problems for everyone. But you're the one who murdered. Fool, they'll see us. You're the one who killed Lothi said. What? Oh. Wow. The Shepherd Artorius. That's who you're after? Yep. Oh, and here I was hoping you'd just straight up pounce on him. 
That would be certain death. No. I need a sword of reason and will. That's the yes. only thing that can kill him. Killing Lord Arcturus. Playing yep. it safe? Boring! Regrettably, it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to do. No one's stopping you. Goodbye. Farewell! May your days be fruitful and your nights tormented! Good grief, what kind of exit is that? If our enemy's calling himself a shepherd, yeah. he won't be going into hiding. Let's take this slowly. The old man yeah. behind him. Melchior, I take it? Yeah. Let's gather information on these people. If we know what they're planning, we can find a weakness. Yeah. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen, do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? <coughs> like your friend at the port? Now that would be good. I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. But Eifried has close ties to a shadow guild. A tavern good. in the city, run by an old man called Baskerville. Serves as a front for them. A shadow guild? Those sorts of things actually exist. Yep. <laughs> that settles it. Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? Why not? Oh, my expedition has returned. Oh, that's already made already. Jeez. Uh huh. Scout ship. Just keep training, and you'll do fine. My stomach made a weird noise. That's another sign that you're alive. Let's check here. Holy bottle. I wonder what's up here. The exorcists sure were out in full force to see the shepherd's inauguration, weren't they? What about that guy you're after? Was he there? What, and have to stand around looking all proper? No, that's not his style. Then I mm -hmm. thought he was one of the top exorcists. That wouldn't matter to him. Huh. All right. Actually, Velvet, speaking of the shepherd, I noticed he wasn't using his right arm. Was he hurt or something? Yeah. He was badly wounded a long time ago. He lost the use of his sword arm. That's what I figured. Mm -hmm. but don't get the wrong idea. He's still a master swordsman with his left arm. I can tell that from the way he moves. His movements are steady and yeah. measured, and his chi is centered below his navel. Huh? Why does that matter? Some people say that all the body's spiritual energy gathers in a place about two finger widths below the navel. Oh. Even when he appears to be in a state of total peace, his guard is never down. He's a formidable adversary. Yes. And I think I know why my target has placed himself at Artorius's side. Really? Because now I want to take Artorius down too. That's it? They both want a piece of Artorius? I'll never understand that. I'll never understand them. Let's see. Increase defense reduction. Okay. That'll help me. Okay, oh let's head back to town. You think they would actually give me a sprint button or something, but no, they actually give me a slow down button. Good grief. <sighs> Pathetic. Shepherd. Hello! Savior, I believe in him. As long as we have Shepherd Artorius. How pompous can you get? Artorius has already seized control of all religious yeah. and secular power. But now that he's taken on this new title, he's no longer just an authority figure. A dangerous opponent in After seeing that, will you Of course I will. He could be a god for all I I'll have Whoa. My vengeance. No matter what. Vengeance is such a sweet thing. Find a telephone. This one? Ah! Hi! What'll it be? Some food for the boy. Mabo curry is our specialty. It takes a week to stew properly. Mabo curry? Some mm -hmm. of that then. Say, do you know a man named Baskerville? I heard we might find him here. That old man? Uh. A scoundrel and criminal who went against the rules of the Abbey. They executed him long ago. Oh. Oh dear. Velvet, 
This Mabo curry is amazing. <laughs> You get along so well. Is he your brother? Ah. No. No, he wouldn't be, would he? After all, your brother was murdered before your eyes. What? How do you know that? The shadows watch those who flinch from the light. So the guild is still active, even after Baskerville's arrest? That's right. Just like how Eifried's crew continues their piracy, even without their captain. So you're yeah. the contact? What may I help you with? I want to know oh. what Artorius is planning. That is a good thing to know, for starters. Information such as that, it won't come cheap. Okay, what do you need? I have here a list of jobs. Not one remotely legal. Take care of all of them. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Good grief. Foil and ambush. Uh, search for a missing man. Finally bring back a scholar named Mindy who disappeared along Gale Lake Road. Sure. Take this with you as documentation. It's fake. But it's a good fake. It'll hold up to inspection. It's registered to Mogulu's Menagerie. Oh? Yeah? Was that not the name you gave to the guard at the gate? <laughs> yeah. I can see you're a group to be reckoned with. Yep. Report back here once you're finished. However, be aware that should you fail... Then this conversation never took place. Got it. I'll cause you no trouble. Mm-hmm. I appreciate your understanding. You're welcome to stay the night, free of charge. Forget about work until the morning comes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna rest up for a bit. <sighs> right. You're missing Captain Eifried. Yeah, that is true. He's trying so hard the to find him, what do you expect? much toward our viability. I promise that I'll share anything I hear about him for no charge. Thanks. Thanks. All we know is there was a pendulum on the ground at the last place he was seen. And that Legate Melchior is connected to the captain's disappearance. How? We don't know. Sounds like you've got problems of your own. Do you really have time to take on ours as well? Hmm. My help. I ask you why you've tied yourself up with Velvet. Me? I've got a debt to repay. Without her, there's no way I'd have ever found my blade again. Yep. A demon repaying a debt? Ridiculous. <laughs> as ridiculous as a pirate Moloch, you think? <laughs> mm. No matter how you look at it, there's nothing reasonable about our rogue existence. Exactly. And in this brave new world governed by reason, a rogue can either rage and become a monster like me, or... Or band together with others. Like a ship full of pirates, perhaps. Yep. Exactly. I admire Velvet's courage, squaring off against the whole world on her own. If you can accomplish that, yeah. it takes strength real strength and i'm curious where it comes from well that is for mystery so you're doing it for yourself after all is that so wrong <sighs> no i'm the same <laughs> i need allies on my side with the strength and courage to combat this so-called order imposed by the abbey oh but anyone who's willing to put up with the creed folly of ifrid's pirates <laughs> Has to be an even bigger fool than we are. Really? Sorry, it's just. Huh. When you got things like so these, like you gotta you. take proper care of them. I wanna know how deep her foolishness goes. <laughs> She'd kill you if she heard that, you know. It's a compliment. 
fools that big aren't born every day. <laughs> uh -huh. And I imagine your dear Captain Eifried's much the same. Yep. Aye. That man flies his fool flag proudly. <laughs> to the fools. <laughs> the Shepherd Artorius, hmm? He's got the populace eating from the palm of his hand. Oh. I wonder. Hmm. Just how deeply will the fangs of our would-be tragic heroines scar this broken world of ours? I've got a traitor to find, but in the meantime, this should be a good show. Hmm. For somewhat for a witch, she's actually really creative. I really gotta be careful with Magilu. Alright, cook and eat. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Food's ready. Food's ready. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's go. A scholar missing on the road to Gallus Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing persons case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities, but our job isn't to ask questions. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Come on, about the again. Such a hard woman. She knew about me and our cover. She's got ears everywhere. Yep. And that's not all. She called the papers fake, but they're not. So she's what? got spies working on the inside, too. I heard that her predecessor, Baskerville, was a monument against authority. To think he was executed. What'd you expect? Lost leader, but remain unconquered. Not an organization to trifle with. That's yep. how they have to be to take on the Abbey. We'd better succeed on our missions. And not just to get the information we need. Yeah. Agreed. Besides, I'd like to get another of those drinks, too. You're a man oh. of taste. That place always has the best. Uh. <laughs> You'd better work hard, too, if you want more Mabo curry. <laughs> I will. Aww. That ceremony was Lord Artorius. He raises up Artorius to You think so? He may his only Good grief. Hope seem like a Well, he's got if anything were to happen to Prince Percival, the future I see. So everyone's hopes are riding on him. Which means Midgan's vulnerable with that. Good grief, Artorius does Artorius that. Uh, so boring. Lavender, increase attack. Hello. Oh, hello. Ninety-five. Girl, do I look like I made a money? Well, at least I know where to find it. At least. Do they sell plants here? Consumables. Nope. Materials. Hmm. There we go. Alright, let's proceed. Yeah. 
All right. What's up with this? He may be the shepherd now, but no one knows who he was before the advent. No, they. But he showed up one day with a malik in tow, routed the. That sounds pretty. Right? But the kingdom. Maybe he plans on usurping power for. Not likely. He's worked hard. Lining his pockets from the state. Co Not the slightest chance. Then what's he after? Hmm. Maybe there is no ulterior motive. Whatever the case, if he hadn't shown up when he did three years ago, Midgen would be a. He was trying to actually think of a theory of why he's doing all these good deeds, but yet they come in fruitless. Greetings, Magilu's Menage. You've come to exactly. You must be a Bloodwing. You already know about the Code Red demons. The really strong. Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? Little reward. Why pay us when the- It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments. Yeah. Especially where Code Red demons- I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they'd incur in- That does seem logical. But sometimes, people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes, they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. Wherever there's a Code Red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <laughs> and let me guess. That's what exactly. Yeah. There are blood wings all throughout Midgant who have information on these codes. If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, they'll make sure you're well. All right, I understand. Yeah. But I won't. That's fine. No sense in drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive. If you get results, let us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I'd feel right. guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so. Hmm. Those blood wings are definitely a rough crowd. Yeah. To be fair. Things are never that straightforward when you're dealing with demons. All yeah. that matters is that there's something in it for us if we hunt those code red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. Just remember that these code red demons are tough enough to make the Abbey shiver. Yeah. We'd be wise not to underestimate them. We should talk to those blood wings before considering any of the marks. They might. Yeah. All right. And we better remember to upgrade our equipment. Right. Fair enough. All right, can you can use that if I press it? On. Oh! Hey, Laffy said. What is it, Roku? Mabo Curry. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, I agree. <laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo Curry? That it smells good, and it's creamy. Yeah. And kind of spicy. I'd say you love it then. Do all Malakim have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Yeah. Some eat a lot, some eat a little. Just like humans or demons. What do uh. you like, Aizen? Drinks, I suppose. What <laughs> else? Uh, pretty much just drinks. Don't you like any? Is it a problem if I don't? No. I'm just wondering. For me, it's drinks yeah. and candied sweet potatoes. That's wow. when you boil strips of sweet potato in oil and then coat them in sugar, right? Sound delicious. Yeah, I never get to... So you like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Yeah. Is that so strange? No. <laughs> Candied sweet potatoes. Sounds good. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right. Aw. Okay, there's our safe point. So where do we go? Gals Lake Road. Gals Lake Road. So So where are we going to find Gals Lake Road? Looks like you want to die. All right, here we go. All right. Kaboom! Kaboom! Ouch! Light 
Don't worry, I got you. And kaboom. Come on, come on, got it! Ow. Rude, rude, rude. Man, they were rude. Whew. Lion's game, whoa, I got a lot. Now that's what I call intense. I can't pass through here, so that means I must be taking the wrong track. Alright, let's head back. So the maybe this way? 75. Hmm. Ooh, touch a chest. Finish this quick. Come on, heal. All right, nice. my full power. Don't get overconfidence. Alright. Hours. All right. Phew. Let's try this. I guess that's hey, our demon. That noisy demon looks pretty strong. Think it might be one of those code red demons? Doesn't matter to me. Yeah. I'd rather not waste my time fighting it if I don't need to. I don't see it as a w look. The Abbey only has a handful of exorcists strong enough to take something like this down, right? Probably. I'd say yeah. Praetors like Lady Teresa and the Legates could probably take it on. And those guys yeah. are all your enemies, right? Mm. I see where you're going with yeah. this. The Abbey is strong, both in its individual members and yeah. as an organization. And if we're to close the gap between us and them, we need to fight strong opponents like this demon. That's yeah. what I would do. But you're free. All right. I'll concede the point. But we should determine just how strong it is first. I don't... That goes without saying. Yeah. I'd rather not get myself killed due to inadequate preparation. You don't have to worry that much. If you want to go fight, I'll help keep you safe myself. I promise. I don't recall asking for your protection. You don't need to. Mm -hmm. I say 
can we fight it? Hmm. Let's see. So no choice. Always ready to fight. <laughs> Go. Yes, we're doing great. Focus on healing. And a boom. Nice. Your style is really. <laughs> Let's see where this lead. Castle Lake Road. Gals Lake Road. This is it. This is where we needed to go. Oh, hello. You'll be rushed on my blade. <laughs> I'm not. Do I my time? <laughs> there we go. Alright, I'm gonna heal, 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 heal. Catch it, Velvet! Alright. Shoot! Oh, jeez! Shell sweater and capacitor battle boots. Nice. Oh, good grief. Master, this is a lot harder than it looks. Expedition has returned. Thank you very much. Scout ship. Let's keep going. Oh, lots of shots. Gotten a lot worse, but we did it. 
Phew. I'm probably gonna cut off the battles because some of those are actually taking a lot of time, so. Alright. Run that to the crisp. And a push! And voila! Out of everywhere! Wait, 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 wait! It's usually not the closest one, so... So, apparently my OBS has reached its maximum capacity when it came to recording. So now I'm gonna be double checking with this thing, just to make sure it is now working properly, so... Take a look at... Our flag, nameless. This will be big. What a treasure! Ready to basic training. New attachment discovery, spyglass. Alright. Scout Skill list. Strength of the crew with the rest of style training. Great, let's do Treasures. We were able to earn a treasure. Let's take a look at it. Pendant. Nothing of any worth to me. Oh my word. <sighs> if we're able to actually get stronger, but we need to do better, so. We have to keep training in order to survive, so. But not fighting those, good grief, those can kill me. Okay, let's go rescue this guy. Uh oh. Who goes there? The world? What Earth are guards doing here? Why are they here? Oh, okay. Watch out! They've got Malachim! They're no ordinary cell swords. Guess I'm playing you now. Suppose they were guarding. Probably a target. Lost lamb, perhaps. You think they're holding Mendy captive? Probably. Oh, I leveled up! Curtis Vale, a callus I bring. Raise my movement speed by 10%. Oh, they're slaves! Is there someone here named Mendy? We've come to help. Oh, thank goodness. I can finally go home. So they were keeping you prisoner. They made you mine vermilion ore? Yep. Yes. I discovered a method of refining it, and it cost me dearly. What's vermilion yeah. ore? A rare stone made of concentrated nutrients. It can be used in medicine, but it's also poisonous. Correct. Oh. So you were making medicine? Yes. They were forcing me to make a nutritional substance called nectar. Isn't vermilion ore supposed to be highly addictive? Uh, oh. I told them that. But what choice did I have? Whatever. All right. Our task is complete. Can you get back to Logris on your own? I can. I'm terribly sorry. Why apologize to me? Your grief. You definitely this... came for. Let's get back to the old lady. Good grief, who would have thought this stuff would be illegal?
Tell you about it. All right, let's see. And Gaio? Save that. Actually, I'll save later. Might be my biggest regret, but oh well. Fight a demon. We also had another fashion. What did I get? Besides the top hat. Oh my word, that's so cute. A spyglass. Oh, that'll be perfect. I'll take it. Sorry to cut you down. Stone Lance. Well, that'll come in handy. <laughs> bah. Alright, let's go. Let's see what's over here. Oh. That's the demon we have to fight. You're strong. Hold on. Let me take a... Watch yourselves. This guy means business. I know, I know. Training isn't worthwhile if you get killed while doing it. Hey, what button do you have to press in order for this to work? Change the control mode. L1. Switch character. No. Sorry about that. Let's go. Oh, that's what I need. Controls. Okay, let's see. Mystic Arts. Breaking Soul. That's what I did. I probably need all five. No! You're kidding! Good grief! I just lost all my progress! Ugh. Man. Oh 
was too intense. Let me head back and let me try that again. I'll just focus on support. Okay. I'll fire from a range. Focus, but focus on healing. I'll I'll distract him. <laughs> Thanks. Joel knew more than I do. As a random skill that increases the speed in which equipped master skills are. Learn a more or above. Whew. That thing was pretty strong. You just wanted something good to train on. I'm not in it just for myself. Yeah. If I get stronger, I'll be more helpful in your battles. This counts True. towards the repayment of my debt. But you don't deny at least part of it was for yourself. Of course not. Every true swordsman wants to trick. It might yeah. be a little late to ask, but what debt exactly are you repaying, Rokuro? My yeah. sword is my life. When I was separated from it, Velvet told me where to find it. Yeah. Also, she broke me free from a 500-year-long prison sentence. Oh. You say that like it's an afterthought. And that's why I can't fully trust you. <laughs> I don't follow. Us Rangetsu men are renowned for our sense of duty. Oh, my word. Actually, now that you mention it, Rangetsu is a pretty unusual last name. Yeah. I heard your family specializes in unconventional swords and fighting styles. That's true. Our ancestor was a swordsman from way off in another country yeah. who came to this land a long time ago. A foreign swordsman, huh? I guess that explains why you're so. He had quite a hard time getting by yeah. in this unusual land until he was taken in by an aristocratic family. Ever since, the Rangetsu clan has accepted the rule of their benefactors and has served. Served yeah. them as bodyguard? Bodyguards. Assassins, spies, body doubles, whatever Whoa. you order, your fa always return that which you've borrowed, even if you must repay it with your life. In truth, four of my five older brothers are dead. Oh. You have to admit, we take our sense of duty seriously. Yeah. All right, I get it. You and your family are all tied to your sense of honor. That seems to be the case. We can count on him, as long as he's on our side at least. Oh, come on, that's not fair.
Uh, Logress, please. Oh, well, that was intense. Oh, that's right. Does any of change of equipment? Surprisingly not. The Fifth Imperium. Well, we've learned one thing coming to the capital. The Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. Yeah. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. Yep. And the Shepherd, savior of humanity. I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. Yeah. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malachim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called wow. Enominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four. One ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you Possibly. heard anything, Lafayette? Sorry. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. Yeah. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's That's no the way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. That is Trust true. Don't ever underestimate them. Not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them to make sure that I kill him. She's so dead on sin and killing him. Good grief. I sure hate to be on her bad side. Which is one thing you should never do to a demon. Especially one like Velvet. <laughs> ah. Hi. You received four, three core red hands. In addition, you even back. Oh! I actually completed it! My bad. Wait, there's more? Oh, those are the ones I already completed, never mind. I hear Mendy made it back safe. Destroy goods. I want to destroy goods in the rare crate stored at the warehouse in Port Zexon. Keep up the good. Okay, that sounds simple. Destroying red crates in a warehouse doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What right. will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern. Fair enough. But in order to get there, I'm gonna need an item. Here's the really pretty result of a mint life bottle. Or oh, had to have extra. Holy bulb, that's never heard. Let's take care of this first. So many amber belts, jeez. There we go. Sorry, 
here we go. Guess I have to go the rest of the way by foot. You sure I can buy them? Let's see. Oh, I am by a little... Ah! So let's go. So it's kind of like a zoom potion. It sounds handy. Sure, looks like I have to go by foot. Wait. 